The spear's got a fish on it. What could that mean? It's a little fishy. Hey guys, welcome to Strohs Safari. An uneducated perspective on beer reviews. I'm Jake. I'm Zach. This is Tart Peach Kolsch. Yeah, it is. It's such a hard name to say. It is a hard name to say. Uh, especially since Kolsch, everywhere listed on websites and stuff, mm -hmm. has like two dots above the O, whatever that means. Oh. Um, but on the can, no dots. Maybe it's a German inflection. No I think it's called an umlaut. An umlaut. I don't oh. know if it's really called that. But for some reason, I think it's called It that. sounds right. Yes. You ever have this beer before? Nope. I haven't had it before. Either. I have had something from Ballast Point before. Yeah. I had uh, the Ballast Point Habanero Gulpin. Oh. Um, because Gulpin's their IBA. Because okay. everything, they, it's all fish. All their logos and stuff are fish. You said IBA? IPA. Oh, yeah, I was it's like, a habanero gulp and IPA. Was it very um, bitter? Horrible. It was terrible. It was, it was like a really good IPA, but it had fucking habanero juice in it. It had like capsaicin You know what it shape? tasted like? Huh. Heartburn. <laughs> so I'm familiar with the flavor. Not good. Not good. Yes, okay. So, uh, beer education time. Let's do it. So, this is the Tart Peach Kolsch from Ballast Point Brewing Company. 5.2% alcohol by volume and 20 IBUs. Mm hmm um, this whole brewing company comes highly recommended by our Uncle Marty. Shout out to Marty. Mm hmm Yeah, it's his birthday today, apparently. Yeah. Happy birthday. Uh, this video won't be coming out on his birthday, but it's recorded on the man's birthday. Yes. Happy, happy birthday. Yes. All right, so the genre of this beer is a Kolsch, something we've never had on the show before. Mm hmm um, A Kolsch is actually a hybrid genre. So to make a Kolsch, you take yeast you would use to make an ale, but then you brew it in the cold, like a lager. Because mm. lagers are finished at cold temperatures. That's so this is ale yeast finished at a cold temperature and you get a Kolsch. So that's what a Kolsch is. And this has limited availability. Okay. Um, unspecified by Ballast Point what that avail availability is. But it is limited. According to them. According to them. Yeah. Um, and apparently this is a twist on one of their original beers. So I guess they originally had a Kolsch when they first opened. Huh. And now they're re-releasing it as the Tart Peach. So, Kolsch. any connection to the fish on the can? No connection to the fish. It also unspecified whether or not it has actual peach in it. So it might just be um, a name. Yeah, this is one of those breweries that doesn't give a lot of info. Wow. On the actual website. Seems like a lot nowadays. Yeah, a lot of them do that. Um, I'm going to assume there's some sort of peach something in here, mm -hmm. but it's we're not sure. Yeah. Um, you know how beers go. Sometimes they're just mysteries. Oh yeah. Waiting to unfold. But let's be honest, that's a good time. Well, I let's look at this can of a mystery. Yeah. So I gotta say, I do like Ballast Point's classy logo. That's very with good, the circle, yeah. the Ballast Point dedicated to the craft. They got a uh, sextant on there. Because they're a sexy company. Oh yes. I don't understand the fish at all. Because yes. uh, one side, the blue side of the can, is literally just a big fish. I think that's a... Carp? I don't. I, I don't I know don't fish. Know I'm not gonna fish. pretend I know fish. Not a fish guy. Yeah. Um, Those been since 1996. Yep. Important. Um, I do like the the orange and blue contrast though. It's 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 pleasing to the eye. It's a nice can. I mean, it's yeah. nothing like exceptional. Black banner um, on the top. The fish is weird, but like everything they do is a fish. Yeah, so. and also the fact that it might not have peach in it. Yeah, I mean. What's that about? Because the thing is, I would just assume it has peach, but there's no allergy warning. For peach. Oh. Which is, I feel like that's like legally required. Maybe, what is peach flavoring though? Not like, what is artificial peach? Flavoring? I don't think they would do that. Yeah, but it, we've had I'd it before. I'd be really disappointed. If they did, it'd be disappointing, yes. Um, but, but yeah, I, I don't know. Cool. It's just, it's the, weird. The last beer I had of peach was a limited run. I don't know if you can get any more. It's from Stones. It was uh, Stones on Peach. I had it at a bar on my, the day after my 21st birthday. And it was really good. It was a double IPA. It was delicious. I'm pretty sure it was brewed with actual peaches, I believe. Okay. Well, let's hope this is. Yes. Because we're not allergic to peaches. No, no, so, so we're good to go. Easy. Well, you ready to crack it open and yes. maybe find out? Of course I am. Maybe there'll be like chunks of peach. I'm always ready to crack a can. Oh, that was a nice crack, too. Ooh, crispy. Oh, Smelling. I smell a little bit of a, a, a very sweet. I'm trying to pour more aggressively. Um, I think I'm getting the job done. Okay. Oh, it smells peachy. 
It does smell peachy. Okay, oh, I'm very smell up here. Um, yeah. You want the fish to face the camera? No, 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 because it has no. It, it's not. It's we'll not put a, the thing itself. It's All not right. a bass colch. The peach colch. Peach colch. Yeah. So peach colch. All right. Okay. So as far as the colch goes, it seems very, very peachy looking. It also, look, it's like the, the clarity of a white ale as well. It's very clear. It's yeah. got the ale clarity, but then it's got also that like weird coloring. It's got that golden look to it, which is real nice. I like it. The head is significant for now, but I'm sure it, it won't last. Um, yeah, no, I found myself really liking the way beer looks in a glass. But yeah. Oh, it's Especially cool. some ones. Like this one, I feel like it's a nail in it. This oh my really, god, it's so cool. It's a good looking one. Um, it's cool. Carbonation is definitely there. It's Nothing substantial. significant, but... Uh, yeah, substantial. Yes. Right. Yeah. I like the smell of this. It smells peachy. It really does smell peachy. I like peaches. But it's like raw peaches too. It does smell like raw peaches. It, it smells like there's um, no sweetening there. It's just It smells like the way like that the not too sweet uh pure leaf peach tea tastes. Yes. Is the way this smells. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. I hope it tastes like that. Oh that'd be cool. I love non sweetened peaches. Yeah, non sweetened teas in general are pretty decent. And they great. I've, uh, I've started to drift away from my sweet tooth in the recent years, so... Well, that's good. Yeah. It's really bad for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Sugar <laughs> is bad for you. Sugar is bad for you. Surprise, surprise, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, sugar is also an alcohol, so See, this is bad for you. You all knew that, but you didn't want to You didn't want to acknowledge it. Now you know. Yeah. Now you ain't gotta but go this, keto. This ain't no health movement, so... No, we're a beer review We're here show. for the beer, yeah. No. <laughs> you might do a cigarette offshoot. Maybe. Maybe. We'll so see. we're definitely not a health movement. Alright. Well, you ready to give it a taste? We're already jumping. Yeah. Yes. It's that time. Oh my goodness. It's the time of the video. Roll so fast. We're Cheers, rolling. Mate. We're rolling through. No need to waste time. Oh my god. It's very peachy. Super. Oh so my god. Peach. That's wow. ridiculous. Some tells me there's actually peaches. Yeah. No. There. There might be actual peaches. Uh, the fact that they didn't say is weird. Did this not have an IBU either? No one had the IBU. Oh. Did you? Twenty IBU. 20 I've used. I mean, that fits. It's that very fits. tart. It's very tart. Very peach. tart. Oh my tart god. Tart is accurate. Tart is in the word. <laughs> it's, it's so weird, though. They're, this is the first time they a beer oh. has said... <laughs> oh. This is the first time a beer has told us that it's a flavor. What is, this one didn't even tell us it was a flavor. It just says it on the can, peach. Yeah. And it's peachy. It's, it's very peach. Oh my, oh my god. It's overwhelmingly peach. Um... Ooh. I can't taste the beer. No. Like at all. No. It, it literally just tastes like like unsweetened peaches. Yeah. In the glass. And it's pretty. What is the percentage on this? Because you five point two. If you like peaches, you could drink a lot you of this. You could destroy a keg. Oh my god! You could. Um, that's it's so much it's peach though. Dangerous how much it doesn't taste like beer. Oh my goodness. It doesn't taste like beer at all. No. It's now weird. that I'm getting used, to, you really have to get used to it. Those first few sips were like, what is this? It's like. Tart on your, it's soury, tarty on your lips, on your tongue, all around your mouth. I've never had a beer that tastes like this before. No. This is so weird. It's really weird. You don't taste the hops. You don't taste the malt. Mm -hmm. You don't taste any like barley. You don't taste anything. It's just peach. It's literally just peach. This, that is the, the outstanding primary flavor of this beer. Peach. And the secondary flavor. And the secondary. And the tertiary flavor. Yeah. It's all of the flavors. All the flavor. Um, it's peach. It's kind of amazing. You get a warm. Wow. It's like the vodka of beers, and then they spiked it with peach. Yeah. Wow. I'm curious as to what this would taste like without the peach. But it doesn't taste bad. No. It's just um, different. It's very, very different. Very different. Oh, my goodness. This is kind of... It's cool, though. It's a cool concept, though. I almost don't even want to consider this a beer. Yeah, no. It's almost like a cider. Yeah, almost like, it's like a, a cider. peach cider. Like That's what I'm getting from this. But you all, you do get a little bit of an alcohol -y feeling, though. It's a little bit warm in your throat. A little bit. And you get, like, the mouth feel of a beer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It feels like a beer. Uh, besides the fact that it's a lot lighter and, like, airier. You know what it is? The other thing is, it's I think it's the, the aftertaste is super peach. Because it's... Super it's peach. You have it in your mouth, and it's just kind of like it's there. It's not super strong. As soon as that leaves and the air hits your mouth again, the air hits your taste buds again, it's like, whoa, Yeah. that's peach. It's very peach. And like like the main Ooh. taste is almost like nothing, but it's like a really fluffy nothing Yeah. with like sourness to it. Yeah. 
which I like. It's because it's like I don't I don't have a lot of sour things. Yeah, I know. So it's kind of like we need to get some like sour beer though, because that pe- that's like a thing that people like. People are saying sours are good. Sours are good. Yeah, um, but I, if this is what sours taste like, maybe this is a sour beer. What if it was? Kolsch apparently is not a sour beer. Oh, it isn't. That's what people were saying. Okay. But it seems to be a, fair. I did very little research. Yeah, it's okay though. Yeah, I read an article on a craft beer website called "What the Fuck Is a Kolsch." Nice. So that that seemed like a good source. That seems that seems. You know. <laughs> and then I read the Wikipedia page. Excuse you for Kolsch's. Jesus. Not my fault. <laughs> it's it's fucking Kolsch, bro. Oh my god. Now that I've had the taste of the beer, it just smells sour too. It, it, it is very tart. Oh, tart wow. was accurate. Is that what raw peaches smell like? I've never spelled raw peaches. I've only spelled like the... Peaches are sweeter than this beer. Raw peaches? No, they're not. Are you talking about the peaches we get in the can? We used to eat in cans when we were kids? I'm talking about like a peach, like the, the fruit of the peach. It's more sour than this? No, they're sweeter than this. No, I don't think so. Peaches are sweet. Peaches are a little... They got a little tart, though. They do have tart, but they're, they're a sweet fruit. That's true. Maybe, maybe when you brew, the, the sugar kind of gets brewed out of it. Well, yeah, sugar turns into alcohol. That's what I was saying. That's kind of one of the things that people said with uh, flavored beers was that they add the flavoring afterwards because if they add it in the brewing process, it takes all the flavoring out because it just kind of gets brewed. Yeah. And, and I have no idea how they made this. No, neither do I. I they I, need to communicate with all the other breweries who are trying to make flavored beers. Yeah. Just failing. And just be like, hey, Horrible this failing. is how you fucking do it. You need to do it right. This is the most accurate I've seen. Yeah. By far. And this didn't even this isn't even like promising a peach flavor. I would have been cool with a little peach. Yeah, this is pretty I, I mean know. honestly, I'm a little overwhelmed. It is a little but overwhelming. The thing is, it doesn't give us a lot to talk about. It's just like, oh shit, it's peach. And that's about it. Yeah, it's peach on the front of the tongue, peach on the back. It's all peach. It's not very bitter. Um really if you like peaches. Yeah, you'd like this. You would like I this. I think you would. Most people, basically, yeah. if you like peach flavoring, you like this. Yeah, because it does. It tastes like real peaches, but the only thing is, if you have a sweet tooth, mm-hmm. you would not like this. No, There's no, because it's no not very sweet. No sweetness at all. There's a little bit, but uh, it's like the natural fruity sweetness, like fructose, straight fructose, just a little bit, just a little bit. I don't get any sweetness in this at all. Really? I get none. I get a little bit, but it's it's just none at it's, all. it's very minuscule. It's mainly that tart, that that uh, sourness of the peach, but. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let's let's break let's, it down. Let's do the numbers. 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 All right. So let me go and look on this. Oh, that's a pretty. It's, it's pretty. a pretty beer. It's that that pe- that goldeny peach. Goldeny tone. peachy color. I'm gonna give oh, it. An, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm giving it an eight too. I think it's an eight. I think it's an eight. You done good. Not with that head. Point head. Head. Mm. Two. Two. I'm not. Gonna you don't I'm think gonna go four? I think two's a little. Yeah, yeah two's harsh. Yeah, two's I harsh. think four is where it should be at. Say, I'm gonna say three. Three? Three. Three. It is. A little split, more than. But. Split the uh, split the difference. Yeah. Smell. Smell. It smells like peaches. It smells like peaches. Yeah. It smells like peaches. Which um, is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. No. Not a bad thing it at is all. A, but it's not what I want a beer to smell like. Also that. Yeah. So it is. I think we go with six because it's unpleasant but off-putting. It's pleasant but off-putting. Yes. You know what I mean? You're like, that smells good, but it shouldn't smell like that. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So six. Feel. Feel? <coughs> mouth feel. Let's oh. hold this in our mouth for a little while. Oh, no. We started doing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the professional way to do it. When you do that, the tart really comes through. Oh, yeah. Um, That's why I did really, earlier. Really, really tart. Um, you get a little more beer that way, too. A little bit. A little bit more beer. But it's not much. Um, honestly, it tastes almost like a Bud Light, a Coors Light. Something really, yeah, like a you know really, really light macro. I don't, I haven't personally had it, but I imagine this is what, like, a Bud Light peach would taste like. I do feel like this is what a Bud Light peach would taste like. Is, that, is that a thing? Probably. Probably. Something yeah. Something like that. But, uh... They have Bud Light Lime, and I feel like that's what this tastes like, but with lime flavoring. Probably. Because the beer seems irrelevant here. It seems no. like the beer is a, a peach delivery system. Yeah. You know <laughs> yeah. I mean? Yes. Yes. Like, All right, well. As far as mouthfeel, it's pretty good. No. I mean, it, it's really clean. It's smooth. You, it's, it's, it feels more carbonated than it is because it of does. that bitterness. Yeah, it really pops. Um, yeah. Because you get almost that tartness that also comes from the carbonation. Yeah. That doesn't really 
like when you just have like carbonated water yeah it makes it taste so much more bitter than regular water exactly so it has that that extra bitterness added to it the edge so i'm gonna give this a there is a very tarty aftertaste so that's the only thing that draws back from me there is a tart aftertaste yeah i think this is a six i think it's a seven you think it's a seven i think it's a seven i think it's pretty good i'm gonna stick with my guns on this just because again it's not really my thing i'm okay with that yeah no, I have no complaints about your sticks. Yeah. If you gave it like a two, I'd be like, hold the phone. Yeah, then it's hold like, the fish, come on, bro. You know? But like when you're with them, when a point of each other, and it's like, okay, I understand that. Yeah, I totally get it. Yeah. So main taste. Main taste, main actual taste. taste, peach. Peach. You're talking about the peach? Mm. Oh, there's that peach. It's definitely there. Um, um, I mean, it's not, it's not a remarkable flavor. That's what bugs me. There's nothing... It's not really offering very much except for very peachy. Yeah, this is not a complicated beer. So I think it's a six. Um, it, it's good at what it does, but it's not, you know, I don't mind it, but I also don't really love it that I think much. I'm going to go six, too. Because yeah. I like it more than I hate it. I wouldn't have it again. Yeah. Um, it's a fun It's a fun beer to try. It's a fun beer to try, but like as far as like a daily drinker, yeah, a six-pack, that kind of thing. No, I, no, 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 that's... No. Too much. It would be too much. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it'd be for fun sure. to give people. It's like a goof. Yeah, a goof. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, hey, try this. Yeah, let's. Here, well, have you got to try this? Yeah, try this. It's crazy. got a fish on the can. That's what you yeah. got. That's how you advertise. Try <laughs> it's got a fish. We take it. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Why doesn't it have a peach on the can? Yes. <laughs> it should have a fucking peach on the can. It should really have a peach on the can. Dude, because we've talked about peach so much, we need to put a peach emoji in the thumbnail for this. All right, we're gonna have to do something. Cause Jesus Christ. It's so peachy. It's peach. It's like okay. a green lighting peach right now. Oh. Um, it's pretty good though. Yeah. So, uh, all things. What's the one word? That's the word. Your next word. So much peach. No. Peach. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not honestly just peach. I think peach is the word. Peach is the word. Peach is the word for this beer. It's because that's that's what it is. It's peach. Yeah. If you like beers, buy like a single can. Yes. And give it a shot. Try it. If you can find it on draft. That'd totally be even better. Do it. That'd be so weird. It probably yeah, it would be weird. Yeah. Where would you get this on draft from? I don't know. Where is this from? What where is this brewery? Palace Point? Yeah. I did not look it up. Does it say on the can? No. Uh, I don't know. Is there one of those like Mac or the the micro brews that have just insane distribution? San Diego, California. Oh. Yeah. That's in San Diego. So. Okay. Palace Point's always been around though. They're yeah. one of those like like micros verging on macro kind of territory. You know what I'm saying? Mm. One of those, like a Sam Adams kind of thing, where yeah. you get Sam Adams everywhere, even though it's technically a micro brew, but it's like totally not. Yeah. It's like that. Um, okay. Yeah, peach. If you like peach, okay. give it a shot. If you don't like peach, don't drink it. You'll where would you drink this, it. though? Where would, you drink where would you drink this? Where would I drink this? I don't know. Um, can I say like a peach orchard? That's what I'm thinking. I'm going peach picking. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, peach like picking. Like it was um, made there. Like they made it there and then spiked it. Yeah. And they just squeezed some peaches and spiked it for you. Yeah. It's just oh, if you had a piece of peach floating in it. Oh, like they do with the the blue moons. Like a garnished. Oh, yeah. Man, that'd be good. that'd be actually honestly. It'd be excellent. Be more of a mixed drink at that point. Um, I feel like this is a good for like summer days. Yes. It's, it's, I don't know why this availability is limited, but we don't know why it's limited too. Um, I well, feel like this would be really good for like summers. If you don't like beer, mm -hmm. but you like mixed drinks, yep, this would be great. For oh you. yeah. See, I'm just glad we got to try it. I'm just happy to try any beer, even if they're gross. It's it, yeah. cool. It's a good experience. The learning I experience. Agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That's where this is. It's very so, strange. Very peach. All right. Cool. It, was, it wasn't a bad experience overall. Okay. Well. uh... Thank you guys for like, commenting, and subscribing. Thank keep you that for up. all the interaction with the videos. Oh. We really do appreciate it. It really yeah. does help us. Yes, it does. So thank you very much. Yeah. We will see you next time. Yes, we will. See ya. Ta-ta. Here are the scores for today's beer. Here's how it's stacked up against other beers we've reviewed.